come join us. Ardo confirmed what you already knew, Kyo. The commander is gone. Yeah. You know he did the right thing, though. The civilians needed us. The commander sent Vanguard where we were needed most. Of course. This is what he fought for. That's why it hurts so much. Whatever happens next, this is the end of the line. I just wanted to say, I know we haven't flown together very long. If I'm being honest, it feels like you've always been here. I speak for everyone in Vanguard when I say, it's been a pleasure fighting beside you. I know we have a mission, but we also have each other to lean on and to protect. You've got my back out there, and I have yours, no matter what. Okay, General Sindula is waiting for us in the briefing room, shall we? I'm sorry that our first real meeting is under such tragic circumstances. We're all feeling Linden's loss. But we're cornered. You and Vanguard have held back the Imperials, but we must get those civilian engineers out safely. I need you focused and ready to go. Linden saw you as a leader, an inspiration even. That's the courage I need right now. Let's get you and the others briefed. There isn't much time. Thanks to your work on the Comsats, Anvil Squadron heard our call, and with Lyndon Javes bought us time to repair our ships for escape. But now the Imperial Fleet has Anvil's ships pinned down. They can't get out. So we're going back into the fight, because we need to buy everyone time to escape. No one left behind. Ardo thinks we have one chance. It's drastic, but here it is. The moon is highly unstable, and the Imperial ships are positioned around it. If we crash the Starhawk into the moon's core, the shockwave should destroy those Imperial ships and let us escape, if we're fast. How? The ship's tractor beam is firing uncontrollably as it overloads. If we can get a couple of corvettes into that beam, we can tow it up to speed. Vanguard Squadron, you're up first. We're counting on you to clear the path and take out the closest star destroyer. Corvettes will then enter the tractor beam, and if Ardo's plan works, get the Starhawk moving. It should have a straight shot. Defend our fleet, in case the Imperials get wise to what we're doing. When the Starhawk collides with that moon, the shockwave will hit every Imperial ship in range. And you, unless you outrun it. It's risky, but sacrificing this Starhawk will save our fleet and the engineers who will build the next one. And the next. The future of the New Republic depends on it. Let's finish this. You'll need to be flying your best for this one. X-Wing, Y-Wing, U-Wing, A-Wing. Pick whichever fighter you need. Sindula to Imperial forces. Withdraw or be destroyed. We're in the fire now. Yeah. Time to end this. For the boss. One hell of a place to fight. I've never seen anything like it. <laughs> Those Imperials better enjoy the view while they can. <laughs> Anyone else hear that? Probably just a calm glitch. Focus on the Star Destroyer. Okay, they missed their chance. Eliminate that Star Destroyer so we can move the Starhawk into position. Uh, any advice, General? Get the subsystems first to weaken it. 
Then strike with everything you've got. Just like that, huh? Eliminate that Star Destroyer, like we're swatting a Minoc. Its shields are too strong. We've got to fly under them and hit them all and get on. Take out the Star Destroyer's shield generators. That'll give you a clear shot at its systems. Right. If we knock out its targeting all power systems, it'll give up on the ships a better chance. so much. 
you're here.
saying thank you.
Chandrilla's ahead. Our people will be safe, and we can plan to rebuild. You did it, Vanguard. Project Starhawk is only just beginning. Vanguard? Punch it.